Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
We salute the states and territories who sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware. Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of the group training command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter the play of ceremony in the room and are announced in the following order.
Divisions. Counter. March.
The photographers you will see on deck that are you are the official photographers of the Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, hovering, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Cheyenne Kuhn, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's task and review. Today, you will see 11 divisions comprised of 946 sailors participating in the graduation ceremony and soon joining the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at the center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Senior Recruit Jamal Moultrie from Charleston, North Carolina, South Carolina. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flag unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their nine arrivals, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of the recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief head officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the actions of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and the recruit chief at officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the pattern flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief at officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 2, 1, 5, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Travis Blaze. Chief Petty Officer Chris Spong. Petty Officer First Class Christopher Davis. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Connor Doe from Shelbyville, Tennessee. Division 2, 1, 6. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Travis Blaze. Petty Officer First Class Furman Lewis. Petty Officer First Class Anthony Bullock. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Genesis Whitfield from Rosewood, Texas. Division 2, 1, 7. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jonathan Reeder. Petty Officer First Class Deja Jenkins. Petty Officer First Class Jacob Wood. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Recruit. 
Christian Carr from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Division two, one, eight. Commanded by Chief Pedestal Rodney Harris. Chief Pedestal Thomas Towner. Pedestal Second Class Christina Cook. And her crew chief Pedestal Stephen J. Wilson from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Division Two. Division two, two, zero. Command by Petty Officer First Class, Jeanette Rodriguez. Petty Officer First Class, Mark Lewis. Petty Officer First Class, Jacob Perez. And their crew chief, Petty Officer, fired right layers from camp in South Carolina. Division two, two, one. Command by Petty Officer First Class, Volker Bash. Petty Officer First Class, Monica Hogan. Petty Officer Second Class, Deja Anderson Sills. And their crew chief, Petty Officer. Construction and Owen Reese from Fulton, Missouri. Division two, two, two. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Volker Bice. Petty Officer First Class Randy Parsons. Petty Officer Second Class Tyree Spence. And their crew chief at our senior group, Melanie Betcher, from Oceanside, California. Division two, two, three. Commanded by Chief at our Nicholas Mann. Petty officer first class, John McCormick. Petty Officer First Class, Timothy Alexander. And their crew chief, Petty Officer Stephen Apprentice, Avery Johnson, from Greensboro, North Carolina. Division Two, Two, Four. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Benjamin Cage. Petty Officer First Class, Patrick Hammond. Petty Officer First Class, Maria Jessarine Abakita. And their crew chief, Petty Officer Stephen Apprentice, and Hayden Miser from Omaha, Nebraska. Division 9, 3, 7. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rodriguez Mitchell. Petty Officer First Class Dominic Washington. Petty Officer Second Class James Manahook. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Senior Recruit George Times IV from Santa Rosa, California. On behalf of the command officer and staff of the recruit chain command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief head officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the 
Expeditionary Strike Group 3, arriving.
Naval Service Training Command. Arriving. Second Congressional District, arriving. The guests may be seated.
present are
forward and to the unknown, dedicated to serving this great nation. It is in your mighty name that I pray. Amen.
our community journey. We invite you to learn more about the remaining family resources here at Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Baby Good Camp, Baby Family, check out our website, Baby Family Information and more. Today, Graduates will serve as the Dead of American Air Force around the world and join other citizens to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten. Like Dr. Saving Pride is training for Great Lakes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are presenting to you 946 of the newest of Charles Sailors in the United States. Thank you, Captain. 
Reporting action. Everybody report here. Reporting. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Airman Hendrick Nolan Green, Division 224 from San Antonio, Texas, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Nolan Green is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor.
The action will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's board members.
to really an idea, a concept, the U.S. Constitution. It's not the same in every other country. There are countries where their navies take an oath to a leader. The British Navy takes an oath to their monarch, to King Charles. Uh, to, there's other uh, navies that take an oath to their homeland. Uh, in China, their navy takes an oath to a political party, the People's Republic, the uh, Communist Party of China. But in the U.S., we're different. We take an oath to a way of life, to a system in which our rights and freedoms are guaranteed. And that really is what is so important about what you are about to embark on with today's ceremony, is that you are reaffirming that support and that defense uh, for all Americans, regardless of where you're from, regardless of what your beliefs are, regardless of where you worship. You, you are out there defending all of us to make sure that our way of life is going to continue. And I just cannot tell you what an honor it is to be here in front of all of you. Uh, again, again, listening to the just deep and sincere and authentic commitment that you have to that incredibly important work. So again, you know, again, I just look, you know, wish you all the best and fear wins and say, you know, follow exceeds, as they say in the terms of the future that you're going to bring. And again, I really, uh, again, I hope your families are going to have a great day today as you get me and Wish you all the best in terms of your next assignment. You are going to do great things for our country.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians and making it a great way. Flags. Post. Section leaders. Fall out and retreat out of gardens. If your sailor is reporting to Naval Station Great Lakes for follow-on training today, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is, it is conveniently located just past the main gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy Days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Go!